It's Margaret and Michael here with your cake out news. What's so funny? I was just thinking about how during freshman year, my friend yelled at Miss Hall for pronouncing her last name wrong. I remember my friend yelling no and ended up scaring Miss Hall. That makes you remember during my freshman year, my friend made this kid in my class a breakfast club poster because he got Saturday school and my bio teacher loved it so much she made a copy for herself. Wow, school can definitely be fun at times. It really can, and I really hope college will be just as fun. Me too, but speaking of college, let's head on over to College News. Hey Cavs, it's Jordan here with your College News. The UCLA ULAA Freshman Financial Aid Scholarship application is now open. Eligible students must be admitted to UCLA and identify as Latino, Latina, and Latinx, and also must be a California State resident and demonstrate financial need. The application is due Saturday, April 10th. Also, the Council of Mexican American Administrator Scholarship deadline has been extended to April 14th. And lastly, the USC School of Architecture is now offering its summer program for high school students to explore their interests in architecture and more. For more information, make sure to head over to the Class of 2021 page on Schoology. And that's it for your college news. Now back to your host. You know one good thing about college is that it's like a fresh start for everyone. Exactly. It's like a blank slate. No embarrassing moments, new people, and new environments. Wait, wait. Has anything embarrassing happened to you at school? Um, let's hear about any other embarrassing moments that have happened to our calves. Wait, but I want to hear your embarrassing story. Roll the clip. Hey calves, it's Charlotte here with this week's question of the week. This week we're asking our calves about their most embarrassing moment. Roll the clip was dressing up on Halloween as Georgie from It, but I only had the raincoat and it was way too big. It like went down to my ankles. So it kind of looked like I was like a fisherman. I had to present a whole group project for myself for history class. And I literally just acted out the entire death of Rasputin by myself. During club rush of my 10th grade year, it was on the quad and they were blasting music on the speakers. And at my club's table, we were running out of papers. So I was in a rush to get some and I tripped on a wire. When I turned around, I realized it was the wire that connects to the big speakers on the quad and the music stopped playing and there was people staring. So I was quickly trying to plug it back in, but it, it didn't turn back on. So I just booked it and I didn't even go back to my club's table. It happened in middle school. A lot of people, including myself, got medals that we're supposed to wear for graduation, like as like to prove our accomplishments and things like that. But on graduation day, I completely forgot mine. So I had to graduate and walk on stage without any medals, which is pretty embarrassing. I belly flopped multiple times during a swim tryout. It's okay though, because I'm in varsity. Wow, all of those stories sound so embarrassing. I'm just so glad nothing embarrassing ever happens to me. Um, didn't your stomach used to growl all the time during Euro? Who told you that? Let's just say I heard it through the grapevine. You know what? It's a good thing embarrassing things happen to me. A study found that people who display embarrassment are more prone to be liked, forgiven, and trusted compared to those who don't. Wow, so the fact that our calves are brave enough to go through these embarrassments and admit them will help them in the long run. Since you know my embarrassing stories, why can't I know yours? <sighs> I hope our seniors have let go of whatever embarrassing moments have happened to them and can now just get a good laugh out of them. Oh, that reminds me. I heard that laughter can strengthen your immune system and protect you from stress. Well, I hope our seniors are laughing enough to combat any of their senior stress. Let's go on to senior news. Hey Cavs, it's Samantha here with this week's senior news. Seniors, if you're interested in adding your name to the College Map of Fame, check out this Google link form to fill out your information, including your name and college level to all of your college acceptances. Also, don't forget to purchase your graduation cords. Cords will be sold on the first three Mondays of April. Your appointment date and time will be based on your last name. You can find more information on the Cleveland website under the Senior Activities section. 
Before coming to the campus, check which chords you qualify for and attend at your given appointment time. Chords will be $15 and cash only. Make sure to social distance and wear a mask. That's all the news we have this week. Now, back to your hosts. Did you know that there are some pretty funny clubs that actually exist in the world? For example, there's a club called the Luxuriant Flowing Hair Club for Scientists, which is a club for scientists that have an explicably gorgeous mane of hair. You're joking. That club can't possibly be real. Believe it or not, it was started in 2001 by a psychologist named Steven Pinker, and it's still around today. Oh, wow. He does have nice hair. I know, right? Imagine being able to toss around that flowy hair all day long. I know. Well, let's toss this to club news. Nice throw there. But aside from that, hey, cats, it's Mikey here with your weekly club news. Any of you fellow Cavaliers just recently discovering a creative or artsy side of yourselves? Well, Crafty Club is just the club for you. They gather on Wednesdays at lunch via Zoom, and absolutely everyone is welcome to join. Just be free to do anything creative that comes to mind, or whatever that makes your paper mache boat float at least. And uh, still thinking of other clubs to join? Well, here's an honorable mention, CHS Beautiful Bodies. This particular club meets on Thursdays at lunch via Zoom as well, and is dedicated to promoting body positivity and tearing down the stigma regarding body issues, whilst creating a safe space for everyone. With that all said for club news, we'll end this segment off with a special video on Philosophy Club. Here, let's take a look. Hey Cavs, it's Eric here with... Alani, President of Philosophy Club. And, and Katie, Treasurer of Philosophy Club. And we're here to talk about and find out about Philosophy Club. <laughs> So in Philosophy Club, we have these really in-depth discussions about any philosophical topic you can think of. So from politics to like cancel culture and, you know, what makes a person beautiful. And the talks are, are very, very insightful. And um, there's never a dull moment in Philosophy Club. Philosophy Club is a place for everyone. And I think that everyone can find something interesting and fun to talk about. If you're interested in joining Philosophy Club, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Cleveland Philosophy Club for reminders and join our remind. And we really hope you join our club. It, uh, it matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done for others. Is that the real quote? Yes. Huh? I think he means like what you've done for others is more important than what you've just done in general. I just think it means that like, it doesn't matter how successful you are, what matters most is what you do with that success to help others. Oh my god, wait, my bangs. Okay. <laughs> well, Cavs, that's it for today. Now, back to your hosts. That quote they analyzed was just so touching. Sure. Oh, I have another quote that I think is just as touching. It's, if I eat it soap, I don't eat it because I did. No, I didn't. I feel like that quote should be cut from this show. No, that should not be a blooper. Okay, fine. But we've never messed up while recording our videos for KCAP, right, Margaret? What do you mean we? I know you have. Remember that one time you could not stop tripping over your own words? Sure, sure. But let's take a look at this clip to see some bloopers that go on behind the scenes in KCAB. <laughs> I'm so gross. Inappropriate photos and video submissions to the Cleveland class of <laughs> Hey Cavs, it's Margaret with... What I... King Julian, I don't even know my name anymore. <laughs> Club mom. Happy birthday to Travis from Okinawa. Happy. <laughs> Time to look at ah. <sighs> That's a long sentence. In our next one. My week. sentence is longer, okay? <laughs> so. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Okay. If you say so. This Sunday, February 28th. King Julian, I cannot even say 28. What? You have to say it back to your host. I do it. No, you didn't. You have. <laughs> hmm. I guess I do mess up my lines sometimes, but definitely not as much as you.
Hey, Margaret, do you ever feel like a burnt chicken nugget? I do, but I still love myself. I totally remember Vine. There were so many funny ones that I still remember, like, I'm in my mom's car, broom, broom. That was one of my favorite Vines also. It's such a shame that it had to end in 2016. Well, lucky for you, Cavs, we're reviving some of our old favorites with our own Cavalier twist on these infamous Vines. Roll the clip. It's an avocado. Thanks. Potato flew around my room. Excuse me for the mess that I made. No, what does that say, Lindsay? Hi, my name is Trey and I got a basketball game tomorrow. I'm a starting PG. I got a shoe game. You're no good, dog. You'd never be anything. You're just like your father. That for sure was a blast from the past. But you know what we haven't gotten past yet? Late breaking news. Hey Cavs, it's Maddie here. This week's late breaking news. If any Cavaliers have been admitted to UCLA and are interested in applying for the UCLA Alumni Latino Scholarship, the steps can be found on the Class of 2021 group on Schoology. The last day to apply is tomorrow at 11.59 and the award ranges from $5,000 to $20,000. If any Cavaliers want to buy a yearbook, the last day to do it is next week on April 16th. Before I end my news, it's time to announce this week's Student of the Week. Congratulations to Jose Cortez, who was nominated by Mr. Snodgrass for his personal success. Another congrats to Alex Beloso, who was nominated by Miss Meza for their academic excellence. And last but not least, our final congratulations to Daniel Baradas, who was nominated by Miss Shanessi for his academic excellence. That's it for this week's late breaking news. Now back to your host. Aw, I had so much fun this entire show. It doesn't feel like it's almost over. I know, right? I guess time really does go by fast when we're having fun. That was so cheesy. Oh, but I do have one surprise before the show ends. What surprise would we have other than birthday shout outs? My Mord voice, of course. Happy birthday to Maurice from Sarah, Kayla, and Abby. Happy birthday to Tammy from your favorite breathing period. Happy birthday to Zach from Ingrid. And finally, happy late birthday to fellow Peter and Ramza. Fun fact, these two people were born on the same day of the same year. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. See you next time. Same time. Same place. With your. Casey. A.V. K-Cap News!